Welcome to this report, of Bike Bum's decisive test, of lubricants for bicycle chains. We have chosen, not to use a so-called, reality test, with a real chain, that rolls over real chain rings, that have been braked, to correspond to a specified amount of power consumption. That's because we believe, that it is impossible to prepare all chains to be tested equally. One chain may have absorbed a lot of lubricant between its moving parts, while another may have caught very little. Harder wax forms a thicker coating between pin and roller, than a softer lubricant does. And where do most of the lubricant end up? On the drawbar side of each link. Or on the slack side. The moving parts of the chains, also differ in terms of the microscopic surface finish. We have therefore chosen, to test each lubricant's, extremely thin lubricating films, resistance to abrasion and friction, under more controllable conditions. We have therefore chosen the steel ball against sheet steel method. 2 mm thick steel plates, are thoroughly cleaned. Then smoothed with 800, and 1500 grit sanding paper. Then cleaned again. Followed by, applying a generous layer of each lubricant. When everything has dried overnight, each sample surface is first processed by hard rubbing, with a convex steel object. For example, something as simple as a spoon. This is what we call activation, and causes the lubricant to adhere properly. This corresponds to brushing and running in a chain, in normal cases. Then we scrape off any excess lubricant with a fairly sharp, plastic scraper. Only the best lubricants can handle this treatment, and we believe that it is extremely decisive. The goal is to achieve the microscopically thin lubricating film that remains, even inside a real chain, when all the excess is worn away. We therefore, want to be able to measure only the properties of the thin lubricating film. We finish by lightly polishing each sample area, for a few seconds until a smooth surface is reached, and the last excess has disappeared. Only what remains now, can fairly show the truly crucial properties of each lubricant. Such is at least Bike Bum's underlying philosophy. The test plate is then placed in our test rig. The principle for the rig, is a triangle of three bearing balls, with a ball diameter of 22 mm, allowed to rotate against the prepared steel plates. The bearing balls rotate at a speed of 230 mm per second, and exert pressure on the surface equals to around 3100 kilos per square centimeter. That's just above 3 metric tons per square centimeter. The power consumption for this is measured over time, and then plotted in the diagram you see here. The friction is measured vertically. At the bottom, the power consumption, and thus the friction, is the least. At the top, it is the largest. Endurance time is measured horizontally. At the far left it is zero, and at the far right almost an hour. And these are the competitors, in Bike Bum's brutal testing, of Friction and Wear, 2021. Muckoff C3 Ceramic. Squirt Chain Lube. Silka Super Secret. UFO Drip. Bike Bum's Liquid Kryptonite. Molten Speed Wax. Bike Bum's Kryptonite. And this is what the result looks like, after testing some of the very best lubricants on the market. The first measured value is taken after one minute of stabilization.
And the winner in the liquid lubricant class is Bike Bums Liquid Kryptonite. The winner in the molten wax class is Bike Bums Molten Kryptonite. We are fully aware that our test is brutal, but therefore it is also very important and informative for those who want to lubricate their chain with the very best that exists. The fact that our kryptonite only contains extremely environmentally friendly, friction-reducing additives, does not make matters worse, does it? We are proud to achieve such good results, completely without any eco-nasty ingredients, such as hexane, pentane, molybdenum disulfide, graphene, boron nitride, fluoropolymers, tungsten disulfide, or other ceramic nanoparticles. No, Bike Bums lubricants simply contain paraffin, and additives from the plant kingdom. And we are proud of it.